What's going on guys, Patriots Fan 50 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing Rocket League, and this is also going to be part of my Should You Buy series, so it's kind of a two-in-one thing. So if you don't know what I'm talking about by the Should You Buy series, I've done about three, I think this will be my third video, so yeah, go check out the playlist, it's on the front page of my channel. But anyways, yeah, I'm doing Rocket League, just because you know, it's been on the Xbox One for a little bit, plus this is the last pre-recorded video I'll be doing, because I'm, you know... I'm away right now, so yeah, this will be the last video that will be pre-recorded, and then if anything happened during this time, then I'll be catching you guys up with that, and I'll be making a video about that. But yeah, anyways, let's get right into this. So, I'm going to list a few reasons why I think this game is good and why it's bad. So, first of all, this game is good because they are constantly updating this, constantly putting other, like, DLC in it, like, little, like, micro DLC, like, not, like... DLC packs, but you know, maps, cars, and they're just constantly updating it, so it's a pretty glitch free game. So that's one reason why I love this game. Number two is because it's pretty cheap, you know, it's not a $60 game, it's only about $15, $20, and then you know, sometimes it's on sale for about $10, so it's a cheap game, you know, it's not a $60 game. So, you know, that's good because then, you know, you know, you can play it with your friends because it's a cheaper game, you don't have to. But, you know, like, wait until the game's on sale for you to be able to play with them, which is very, very nice. Now, another reason I love about this is that the level, like, leveling up, it, it's very easy to do. And to get gear, like, you don't have to absolutely grind the game for, like, days. Because you can actually go into a private match and just rank up. Like, you could just play... You can seriously, you can seriously play it, zero bots and just score like 15 times, and then just get all the items in the game. Like it's very easy to do, and it's very easy to get achievements too. It's not a hard game, but it's a competitive game, that's for sure. Now, some reasons I hate about this, like there isn't very many, and if so they're they're very, very, very minor. So you know, sometimes this game lags, and when it lags, it's usually not that bad. But I, one thing I absolutely hate about this game is I have really crappy internet, and that's why I can only upload once a week. Because if you don't know, I use the Xbox One Game DVR and like the Upload Studio, so it takes forever to do it because Upload Studio is like the worst thing ever. Which is the only way I can make my videos, so that's why I upload every like once a week. But when you lag even just the tiniest bit, it shows up with a giant red triangle and it. It's just so irritating because it flashes and it's like, yeah, I know, it's games lagging, and, you know, that's really irritating for me, you know, I just absolutely, I, I hate it, you know, it's really irritating, and yeah, that's really the only, like, major thing, but you know, it's not even that major, it's, it's pretty minor, and like, another very minor thing is like, if you go into the goals, it's not fully textured sometimes on the outside, but you know, that's fine, you know, so there isn't really anything I don't like about this game, you know, it's very fun, sometimes it can get kind of bland, but... Maybe that's just from me playing a lot, but yeah, if I would recommend if you should get this, I definitely think you should get it, but if you, I actually think you should wait at this moment in time, because they are coming out with a collector's edition that is the same price, only it's a disc, and you get DLC and stuff for free, so I would recommend doing that, but if you already have the game, and you are going to recommend this to a friend, and it's in the future, just get the disc because you know just get the disc because in my opinion discs are better just because you can bring in friends houses and stuff and it's faster kind of I don't really know I just like discs a little bit more you know because you can get the collector's editions with like like the hard co cover cases I don't even know what they're called yeah steelbooks steelbooks like you get the steelbooks and you know it's a very collector Z item and you know so I recommend getting those just because it'll have free DLC and it's a collector's edition for it. And it's not like the Juggernaut Fridge for Black Ops 3 and like the RC car back in Black Ops 1 or the Drawn Black Ops 2. It's just, you know, it's just the disc version and that's their special edition, which is nice because this is another reason why I love this game or I like this game is because I hate special editions, okay? I mean, they're cool, but they're like $500, you know, and, you know, then they're extremely rare, you know. I ended up getting a Juggernaut edition. I was really lucky. I ended up getting one for Christmas. So, yeah, but I don't like special editions just because of the rarity. But, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. So, yeah, make sure you get this game. It's, uh, you should buy this game. But, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. And next video won't be pre-recorded. Peace.
should be no confusion, no questions about who wrote this. Cause I hope it's my dope, it's bring on magic, hocus pocus. When I first started, things were looking blurry, now they're focused. And it was dark, now it's late all day, so my solstice. People tend to go on the same path, but I stayed off. Intensity's high, pressure is on like the playoffs. No need for the weeping, all you gotta do is read it. Check these lyrics as I feed it, get me all the.